Fans of Internet Gaming Gaming here today, joined by the legendary Super Saiyan Paul and the Fatal Brotherhood Gaming, and today we're going to be discussing more surrounding Dragon Ball Super, in particular the Battle of Gods movie, and if we believe that Battle of Gods is going to have no direct connection with Dragon Ball Super. And what we mean by that is, after reviewing uh, the first manga chapter for Dragon Ball Super, we actually came to notice something very odd here. Now, in Battle of Gods, it was stated actually by the Supreme Kai and whatnot that Beerus has been asleep, I, 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 I'm I, assuming, for approximately 39 years. Am I correct here, guys? Around I think there. That, that's it, it's been around that time frame. Beerus has been asleep for a very long time. He wakes up for the first time in a long time in Battle of Gods, and he learns about Frieza's death. He learns about Goku being, you know, a Saiyan that's on Earth who's, you know, significantly strong and whatnot. But the only thing that's conflicting here with Dragon Ball Super is the fact that Dragon Ball Super's opening manga takes place right after Kid Buu, and we get to see Goku and, you know, Goten and whatnot interacting. He's fighting, you know, Frieza, Cell, and Majin Buu in his head. And then on the flip side of things, we get to see Beerus, you know, on, on a far off distant planet conducting business blowing up planets so what what, what, what what are your thoughts on that because it, it just doesn't make any sense here if, if the Kai is revealed in Battle of Gods that Beerus has been asleep for all for a, a long duration of time why is he awake so early I mean does he does he wake up and go back to sleep and then wake up again for Battle of Gods it just make doesn't make any sense so what, what is your overall opinion on this all right so that last slide on that manga screwed everything up right there because Supreme Kai senses him Elder Kai senses him as well and a lot of people were trying to say that it was a flashback, but it's not, because they're sensing him in the present. It's Kabito Kai. That's the present. So, therefore, that kind of means that if it continues along this track, Battle of Gods is not canon. And on top of that, he he mentioned the soup that he ate was some type of miso, miso soup that was named after, like, it was similar to the word Saiyan. And that gave him the thought of the Saiyan, but in the movie, didn't he get it? from the prophecy oracle fish exactly and, and what doesn't make any sense here is the fact that clearly the elder kai and the supreme kai were talking about how uh it's been such a long time since he was awake and the last time he was awake there were many solar systems and many stars that have fallen before his hands and obviously we get to see you know what he does you know to this planet you know far off somewhere else he gets to blow it up and whatnot and it, it just doesn't make any sense it doesn't have any tie-ins because where does Battle of Gods fit in this? Like, like, do you think... Obviously, this is before Battle of Gods. It, it just has to be. I mean, it, it's just evident. But how does the movie tie in with the show? It just doesn't make any sense because Beerus is awake. I just think that, uh... Kriyachama is redoing everything. He doesn't... He, like, the movies were there, but now he realizes that he messed up with that and he has to redo them, like, retell the stories, and then with that he can actually build even more stuff off of that. Or with movies, he can't really do anything. Or he's just following his, his code of conduct. All the movies are uncanon. Oh, yeah. But wait. wait a minute, so so you're gonna go based off of these two movies not being canon, but they are canon. How? That that last slide just uncanon the whole thing. It did. But there there are mangas behind the movies. But they were very small mangas. I mean, needless to say, they still tie in with the original concept story. That, that's that, that's the concept that's, is there, but not the the movie itself is no longer canon. The concept is canon, but the movie itself is not. It doesn't fit see, in the see, th th this is where you know conflictions come about because we can't really tell how far along the lines this is. I mean, we don't know if this is a week after they fought Majin Buu, a month. Um, but Battle of Gods was set three years after the Battle of Kibu, correct? Or was it was it was it three years or five years? Three. Wait, wait, five. I mean, I, I'm, I'm yeah. sure it was a significant amount. It was probably either two to three years after. But again, what if what if the entire first chapter is maybe a year or two, you know, before Beerus' battle in Battle of Gods, but, you know, after Kid Buu? But he's not supposed to be awake. He's not. He, he really isn't. Um, but at the same time, it's like one of two things might come into effect here. Number one, either that could be a flashback. Which you're saying it's not, but I mean, it, it's it's highly possible because how is it highly possible if it's in the present? It's just like there were Saiyans existed during during his time before when he was just you know wreaking havoc all over the universe, right? But if Kabito so, he knows Kai of just, them. He, uh, he ordered the destruction. It doesn't make sense though. Kabito Kai just witnessed a star appear. If you just witnessed a star appear, that's right after the Boo Saga. That's literally right after. Well, that is true when they fused, of course. All right. Well, second theory is he woke up very briefly to conduct business business wasn't going accordingly and he went back to sleep but again maybe it, it just doesn't make sense here like like the year gap here is just tremendous oh. so what what do you guys think needs to be done to fix this 
that, he that, says that like viewers sleep for at least a year at a time, even if it's just a quick nap, it's at least a year. But he would have two. known that Frieza was dead. He didn't know Frieza was dead in the movie. He just was like, okay, where's my minion Frieza? He's dead. What? <laughs> Who killed him? Like if you're out in the back of space, you probably know that the the, the the salesman of your planet is alive or dead. <laughs> well, I mean that's the thing. We really don't know what he was doing. Obviously, they try to poison him, and he just went gaga and blew up the entire planet. Um, but what can you do? Like, if you were the storyteller here, what can you do to tie in the movie and still keep it relevant? If if there is anything you can do, because as awesome as this is, it raises so many questions because it's like. Where does the movie fit in the show? And if that, are we going to see the red Super Saiyan God again or not? Because that was completely abolished in Resurrection F. I mean, we didn't have any reference to it. We didn't see any ritualistic performance being done for Vegeta. How was he able to transform without performing that ritual? You know, that, that that's where I'm gunning at. I mean, especially the fact that he appeared transforming in front of Frieza for the first time. And it's just like you, you ask yourself, yeah. It's awesome to see that. It's really cool to see how Vegeta finally has his moment, but how did he get there? How did he have the powers of a god without performing the ritual? Maybe maybe within that time gap between Battle of Gods and Resurrection F, they gave him that ritual. He kind of absorbed the energy and then trained with Goku on Whis's planet. It didn't really get into detail on that. But going back to Battle of Gods, like where do we go where do we go after this? Maybe during like the whole episode, they'll just be like a quick snippet. Go watch the movie, and you'll understand this part. And then they jump past Balagas into like the, I think the, the only way they could pro probably save the manga and make a canon from this point out, fucking cars, um, is because um, what they could do is that, like you said, he woke up for a brief moment, blew up a planet, but they didn't identify that that was Beerus. If Supreme Kai or Kabito Kai says. Oh my god, the Lord of Destruction at, at all? That's completely uncanon now. But if he does not mention Beerus at all, it's just a mystery out there in space. So so how, how could you fix that if, if there's any way of fixing it? Like, how would you tell the story behind Beerus, you know, being asleep for so long but yet still being awake? He woke up for like a day, maybe a couple days. Then we just had to knock him out. Because that bitch is getting crazy. I mean, I mean, do you think Whis was the one to knock him out? Most likely. But, I, it just. It, but then again, he took a cat nap, so he woke up from a cat nap at Battle of Gods. Not, not like forcefully. He was in his robes and everything, like his little outfits, pajamas. I, I mean, it, it's just. I, I, I really hope that they do incorporate the movie because the movie was very important. I mean, the movie had its own manga. It was directly tied in with the original concept, the original story, after Kid Buu, whatnot. Everything was discussed. Everything was, you know, fine and dandy. Um, and for it for it to go down the way it is now, it's just like it it, it. it to me, it's just it raises so many questions. It's like, why? Why is he awake? And what does he do during that time when he's awake? I mean, obviously he's going according business. He's going to planets. He's blowing them up and whatnot. But I don't know, guys. I mean, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below about Battle of Gods being canon, non-canon. Because remember, the only reason why we're saying non-canon is because Beerus is awake. And Kabito Kai sensed him, and this was even this this was way before Battle. Of God. I mean, just go watch Battle of Gods. Go watch the first like three minutes. They clearly just get into detail on who he is, what he is, why he's awake, and whatnot. So it's just it's just very awkward as of right now. I mean, of course, I'm pretty sure the show is gonna fix it. I'm, I'm sure Akira is not falling off the bandwagon that much. The only thing that saves him right now, that could possibly save him, is that he went back to sleep. If he goes back to sleep. Because Supreme Kai can't identify him because he has God energy, and only gods can sense gods. But, but he, he recognized the planet exploded. That's all he did. He saw. He recognized that there's a, a planet that just got blown up, but he can't identify who that is. Well, I mean that that is the only solution here. But let, let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. And once again, guys, thank you all for watching. If you guys are Dragon Ball Z fans, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest news, information, and updates. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the episode, let us know what you guys think by smashing that like button. Leave your theories and your comments in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on Battle of Gods being canon, uh, being you know non-canon at least within Dragon Ball Super? Because as we said, um, it just doesn't make any sense when you know in the movie he was referenced to be sleep sleeping almost like 40 years. And in the TV show, or at least that's what it appears to be, he's awake. 
So let us know what you guys think. And once again, thank you all for watching. We hope you guys stay tuned for more. Uh, lots more news and coverage coming about, you know, Champa and, you know, all, all of the characters, um, especially what's going to happen after Resurrection F. So let us know what you guys think. Thank you all for watching once again, and we'll be seeing you all later, guys. Take it easy. Peace.